Welcome everyone to the Successful Strategies Symposium. We are so glad that you're here. I'm Linda Katz-Wilner, and I will be the MC for today. Two years ago, from seven in the morning until seven in the evening, we've had an unwelcomed guest at our home, a lone red cardinal flies against our living room window again and again and again. And sometimes what we do here throughout the day is this. All day long. What is going on? What's wrong with this? What's wrong with this cardinal? I figured it was some crazy cardinal who saw its image in the, in the window, thinking it's another cardinal, and decides to attack it to stake out his territory. But really, again and again and again, doesn't this cardinal learn from his mistakes? Apparently not. So we try to help this cardinal. We pull down the shades. It didn't do anything. We put photographs of people in the window. That didn't help. We still see this cardinal. This is nuts. So. We started looking into this. Of course, you can find many people who are complaining about the same phenomenon on the internet. And if you're spiritual, some people may say, if a red cardinal is trying to get into your home, it's a sign from the other side. What are they trying to tell us? What was more interesting is I have an office attached to our home, and my clients were hearing this tap, tap, tap throughout our sessions. And one of my clients was amazed by this, and he wanted me to contact Cornell to find out why, why is this bird doing this? Why won't it leave our house after two years? What was more amazing is he came back two weeks later, and he still hears the tapping. And he said, do you know, this bird either has brain damage by now, or he's insane. Now mind you, this client happens to be a neuropsychiatrist. So coming from him, I took notice. <laughs> It made me think of the quote, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. How many people here are cardinals? How many people do something e either in their personal life or their professional life over and over and over again? You're not getting what you want, but you don't change. So that's really a challenge. So we decided, we looked up on the internet, what could we do to get rid of this bird? Well, we found out you can put brown paper on the outside of the window, or you could put screens on the window. I just thought of that the other day. If we had screens, he wouldn't be doing this. Then we thought about it. If we make that change, what would the silence feel like? We've had this sound in our home for two years. What would it be like to have quiet? And so it made me think that when we're in situations that we may not like, or we're having trouble with our businesses and we're not sure what to do, sometimes it's harder to make that change and do something different. And that reminded me of the quote. Again, and I'm sure you've heard it, if you always do what you always did, you'll always get what you've always gotten. So how many of you go to groups, we all go to a lot of networking groups, and maybe mastermind groups, or monthly meetings, and you know there's somebody in that meeting who complains about a problem with their business. And with that problem, the group gives suggestions. A month later, you come back, they still have the same problem. So are they implementing suggestions? Are they making that change? Are they putting the brown paper on the window so the cardinal goes away? It's more comfortable sometimes to be in a situation and complain about it. We've all done that. I've had my business successfully speaking for over 30 years, and I've watched it grow over the years, and I've had my successes, and I've had my challenges. What can I do to make my business grow? What can I do about social media? Which social media should I be using? How do I use it? How often do I use it? What could I do about marketing? What can I do about emails campaigns? Should I do a newsletter? I don't have time to do a newsletter. Should I outsource and have somebody else do a newsletter for me to push me to be regular in sending that out? 
What should I do about my finances? I have QuickBooks, but it's a pain in the neck. Should I outsource and should I have a bookkeeper? Maybe that will make life easier. What about networking? Which events do I go to? Which is most strategic? And I'm sure you all have that question. And then a really big question, as I went to many meetings, they talked about CRMs. What the heck is a CRM? And once I figured out what it was, do I really need one? And if I need one, what, which one? And if I have that one, what do I do with it? I was overwhelmed, and finally, I basically said to him, what are the strategies that work? And Larry, if you know Larry, who has many entrepreneurial ideas for everyone and loves to help everyone, had a brainstorm. And he said to me, why don't I create a platform for business owners and business, people in businesses to learn the strategies that work? Bring experts in one room, because of all my frustrations that I felt, bring experts in one room, bring them together, and let them teach each other and learn from each other, and help them build their businesses. And normally, when Larry comes up with these ideas, it's like, no, 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 too much, it's too much, I can't do all that now. That made so much sense. So here we are today, the first in a series of symposiums, the Successful Strategy Symposiums, and try to say that 10 times fast. Or write that. <coughs> Thank you for joining us on this journey. I know you're in for a day filled with content and networking and raffles and giveaways and headshots and audits, everything that you would need to help you build your business. Enough about me, and I'm probably getting the sign from Larry. It's time. It's not my show. He told me that ahead of time. The first topic we're going to talk about is LinkedIn, because we always hear about LinkedIn. LinkedIn. 